you're left-handed like me, then buying guns becomes a little more complicated. Uh, in the case of 1911s, an ambidextrous safety becomes paramount in my opinion. There are a lot of these on the market, so we'll talk about some of them. The 1911 and many others were not designed with the thought of ambidextrous or left-handed use. Uh, in this case, everything important that goes clicky-clacky with the sear and the safety disengagement is happening on the left side. This is where the hole is drilled and where the lobe actually blocks the sear as well as the plunger detent, keeping everything positive and in place. By design, nothing is happening on the right side. Now the most common style of ambi safety is the cheapest, is what I'll call the fork and tongue style. Uh, the fork is a little notch in the safety's pin that lets the right sided safety mate with it by simply slotting together and a tongue is meant to go underneath the grip panel to retain it in place. There will be a picture on the video. With the only thing really holding this together uh, is the tongue under the grip and faith, it's very easy to just over torque it with your thumb and damage it. You can't even use it with any 1911 grips. You need to make sure that they have a little cut for the tongue to hide under in the grip panel itself. Uh, this is not a strong way to, to conjoin these two parts. Uh, and while it will work fine if you're a righty who just wants a seldom used ambi safety, if we're going to be using this as our primary safety, we're going to want something that holds up uh, much better than this. Enter the Wilson Combat Bulletproof ambidextrous safety. You'll see that these safeties look like mirrors of each other almost. Uh, the right side safety is held in place by a special hammer pin. There is a dovetail cut into the safety itself that rides right inside where this jutting screw is and that's what keeps it from being over torqued. Additionally, since these are machined and not cast, the safety pins that these lock into are much stronger since they can be cut at a much more precise shape. Uh, this is the best ambidextrous safety I've come across thus far. Uh, that said, these are not cheap. In fact, Wilson's safeties can run as high as $160, but you've heard it before, you get what you pay for. Would you rather get one expensive safety that will last forever, or would you rather have safeties that are more prone to wearing out and need to be replaced or regularly bent back into function? I think the clue is in the name, so don't cheap out on safety, guys. So the reason the title of this video is so clickabaity is because I know you guys have been using your XP lamps on smithing when you should really be using them on runecraft or herb lore, so I'm going to present you a challenge. Uh, thumb safeties 99% of the time need to be hand fit. You may be tempted to take this to your local gunsmith who will charge you 40 to 80 bucks for a job that really only takes 5 to 15 minutes. I don't want you to do that. I want you to learn how to do it yourself and level up a bit. So let's say your local smith will charge you 60 bucks to fit this for you. Instead of paying hand to fit your safety, let's take that 60 bucks and invest it into ourselves. You're going to need two tools to get this job, and that's it. Uh, first, you're going to need a number two pillar file, uh, which costs around 25 bucks on Amazon, and a bench block, which I'm not going to count, because if you're the type of person who wants to mess with this stuff, you must have this in your toolbox. That brings our budget down to $35 for that 25 spent. Next, I want you to go to eBay and just search for 1911 thumb safety you'll find super cheap safeties for 10 to 15 bucks. They're very cheaply made, so they're perfect to practice on. You could buy one and another later, or both right now, just in case. I'm gonna to link to a video in the description that does a much better job walking you through the process of fitting a safety than I ever could with my camera setup. And it's the one that taught me. When you're ready and you feel like you've practiced on the eBay safeties enough, you can move on to your big expensive Wilson safety. I know you can do this guys. I know it's complex and intimidating, but once you learn how to do this, you'll be way happier than you would have giving it to Gunsmith Joe. Trust yourself and trust your 1911. A strong friendship is built upon trust. Thanks for watching.
and I believe in you.